So I know what you're thinking. Why college at seven? Maybe the question should be why not college at seven? For me, it all started out with a simple passion, the love of reading and gaining knowledge. Since I was four, I've always loved reading about new and exciting things, and I've never stopped. Back then, I was fascinated by dinosaurs in space. I would read library books about them. When I ran out of books, I started Googling. During one of these searches, I stumbled on UC Berkeley's Paleontology Museum, which is open on Cal Day. So at age six, I went to Cal Day to hear a paleontology talk. I sat in the front row as an excited six-year-old, waiting for a magic show to start. <laughs> After the talk, of course I had questions. The speaker invited me over to his office to talk more about his research and to show me some of the fossils. Anyone here have the chance to hold 65 million year old dinosaur bones? Well, I did, and it was way cool. <laughs> anyway, after my visit to UC Berkeley, I was definitely infected with the incurable learning virus. <laughs> I began looking for nearby colleges that might offer paleontology classes. I found one, so my parents contacted the professor from that college. My request was denied because I was too young to be in a college class. In the meantime, I became interested in other science subjects. By the time I was seven, middle and high school materials were boring for me. So I begged my parents again if I could take college classes. After being turned down several times, my parents finally found a geology professor who agreed to let me audit his course. My mom took the course and I tagged along with her, sitting in the front row soaking it all in. The professor let me take the exams and we both got an A. Remind my mom, but I beat her by 2%. <laughs> Since the professor was convinced of my abilities, we were able to persuade the Dean of Counseling to let me take the next class for credit as an advanced education student. Most community colleges allow high school students to take up to two classes per semester with permission from their school counselor. Since I was still in elementary school, I got permission from my school principal and the dean. That was the beginning of college for me. I believe that there are people in this world who are like angels who help you at the right time, and the geology professor helped me get started. I also learned that you have to be persistent and prove yourself. My next class was an astronomy course she took for credit with my mom. I was seven, and my classmates thought I was there because my mom could not find a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them were surprised when I would answer questions or join class discussions. During this class, I had to give my first presentations in front of big people. It was fun having my mom as a study partner, but it took me a few days to explain Einstein's theory of relativity to her. <laughs> I wonder if she still gets it. <laughs> we both did well in the course and I was the top student. Um, both the geology and astronomy professors were willing to give me a chance, and I was able to prove to them that I was capable. After taking two on-campus courses, I took my first online summer course. Well, I was on family vacation, but I was able to complete the course. That summer, my astronomy professor asked whether we should create an astronomy club at American River College. Well, how can I say no to that? <laughs> the next school year, I felt old and more confident. 
I was only eight. I took more courses and even helped my geology professor give a couple of lectures. We officially opened the Astronomy Club, and I was the founding vice president, a role that I continued to enjoy. <laughs> During that semester, I was featured in the premiere episode of a documentary show called Prodigies, a Google-sponsored series on YouTube. After the release of the episode, folks contacted me from around the world about my confidence and persistence. I was so happy that at such a young age, I was an inspiration and role model to young and old students. But it wasn't all good. I was sad to read the negative com comments about my family and me. When I started out at seven, taking college classes was just for fun. Later on, I decided to get an associate degree in science and then transferred to a four-year university. As an advanced education student, you can only take up to two classes per semester and you're last on priority for registration. It's a struggle getting into the classes you want. So far, I've completed about 30 units, but I still have trouble convincing colleges that I'm old enough to become a full-time student. I wonder why that is. <laughs> well, here's a reason I hear often. I should enjoy childhood and have fun. For me, learning about particle physics is fun. But I have other kinds of fun as well. In reality, I'm the one constantly reminding my parents that I want to learn more and more. Being in college gives me that chance to learn in depth and the opportunity to do research. In fact, I want to finish my PhD by the time I get my driver's license. <laughs> so what do you think? Should full-time college only be for high schoolers and adults? Or should children like me be allowed to become a full-time student? For me, college began at seven. For others, maybe 10 or 18. And for some, even in their 20s. <laughs> College life should begin when you are ready, not when you turn a certain age. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you.